Yeah, it was, um, you know, Gloria told me about it, you know, and I think, uh, you know, Dave contacted her and um, all the people involved, you know, they wanted me to, to be on it. Yeah, of course, you know, I was excited. It's, it's a cool project to be part of it, you know. So I went to the studio when I heard the song, I was I, it freaked out immediately because like, this is cool, man. Like it's got the tribal beat, you know, the, the percussion, and uh, it's right up my alley, you know. So I was like, yeah, I can do something with this. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, you know. The Voodoo of the Godsend is uh, it's actually a very, very uh, old title of uh, African Head Charge record, which is dub. So a lot of my ideas come from dub, you know. African Head Charge is a band, real famous Jamaican uh, percussionists and Jamaican musicians, together with some, some dub, a lot of dub music on top of it. And I was like, I, I love that name. I always thought that was a cool name, you know, the Voodoo of the God Sand, you know. And then I was, I was watching, uh, of course, I was watching uh, Serpent and the Rainbow to get inspired for the whole thing, you know. And um, and then just kind of start writing some lyrics for it, you know, because I only had the music and I didn't even know where to sing. It was kind of confusing. And I went in the studio. It was like, did they? They never told me where to sing or how, like nothing. There was no no instructions, you know? It's like, here, do whatever you, you can with this, you know? I was like, okay, I guess I can do whatever I want with this thing, you know? So, uh, you know, I wrote the first couple lines for it, something about doing something out of nothing, creating something out of nothing, and, uh, and I went on into the tribal part where I did the chant, you know, the ritual chant. But I love the, I love the music on it, man. It's great. Like the, the musicians on it are amazing, you know. Uh, Ellison's bass sounds great, you know. Uh, Portnoy drums sounds killer, you know. And uh, yeah, man, you know. So it was, I was really glad that I got to uh, have a freedom to do whatever I wanted. There was nobody like. You know, in the studio telling me, no, 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 you can't sing in that part. Or, no, no, don't touch that part. You know, none of that. It was nobody. It was just me and the engineer. The engineer had nothing to do with the thing. He's just there to record, you know. So it was up to me to come up with a thing. And uh, so it was really free to do whatever. And uh, we sent it to them. And I guess, like, like uh, Dave sent Gloria an email. I fucking love it. It's fucking great. Tell Max thanks. And, well, no, we really love it, you know, so, yeah, I'm happy, you know, came out cool. It's uh, it's an honor to be part of that kind of project, you know, it's such a, it's a cool project, you know, I love it. The ProBot was great when I did that with Dave, and, uh, you know, this is, it got the same kind of feeling to it, you know. Um, so hopefully we get to do that live, too, you know, that would be the next thing, you know, get to do the Voodoo of the Godsend live. It'd be amazing, It'd be really cool. So, I'm waiting for that. <laughs>